the 60th diamond anniversary for John and Barbara Hefner, the 1970s. A letter written by Kenneth Allen Hefner. Dear Mom and Dad, I am writing this in honor of as you celebrate many years of marriage. I know you understand that your faithfulness to each other and to God has been extremely important to me throughout my life. However, I'm not sure that you understand the magnitude of the impact your commitment has had on me and my ability to remain faithful to the Lord, to Sarah, and to my children. The covenant you made with God and each other has been lived out to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am thankful that I was born to such faithful parents and have had the opportunity to witness your faithfulness all of my life. When I was a small child before I could comprehend the Word of God or even begin understand, to understand the Sunday morning s sermons, I had, I had a solid understanding of God's love and the Trinity. It wasn't because I was a special child or endowed with some special gift from God. It was because I watched it unfold before my very eyes by experiencing your relationship and your faithfulness to God. Because of your faithfulness to each other and to God, he blessed you in your love for one another such that your love overflowed and became a covering over Steve, Mark, Jeff, and I. It was more than just a father or a mother's love for a son. It was a safe haven, like a blanket of security. In this safe and secure environment, it was easy for me to, lead, to learn to trust in the Lord with all my heart. The song I chose to sing for you on your 50th wedding anniversary has been around for more than a decade. It is usually sung at weddings with the hope that the bride and groom will be there for each other until death do they part. I chose to sing it in your honor as a tribute to the milestone you have so faithfully and graciously achieved. The lyrics have created a picture of what I have witnessed over the last many years. After the honeymoon was over, you stayed true to your commitment and over the next seven years became stewards of four little boys. When you lost that lovely feeling, at times you didn't lose your faithfulness to one another. When communication with one another became difficult, you endured. When trials, challenges, and hardships hit, you stuck together. When the future didn't turn out like, turn out like you had planned, you reassured one another. And when you began to show your age, you held each other and allowed Jesus to make you more beautiful on the inside. There are a couple of lines in the song that go like this. As sure as the seasons are made for change, our lifetimes are made for years. Through the myriad of change that has occurred over the last 60 years, you have been true to the promise that you made to each other and to God. Because of your example, I can also sing this song with confidence to Sarah and all of my children and grandchildren. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for being faithful to one another and to God, and thank, thank you for honoring and glorifying our Lord Jesus Christ through your marriage. I Will Be Here by Stephen Curtis Chapman Tomorrow morning if you, make, if you wake up and the sun does not appear, I will be here. If in the dark we lose sight of love, hold my hand and have no fear, cause I will be here. I will be here when you feel like being quiet. When you need to speak your mind, I will listen. And I will be here when the laughter turns to crying. Through the, through the winning and losing and trying, we'll be together, because I will be here. Tomorrow morning, if you wake up and the future is unclear, I will be here. As sure as seasons are made for change, our lifetimes are made for years, so I will be here. 
I will be here, you can cry on my shoulder. And when the mirror tells us we're older, I will hold you. And I will be here to watch you grow in beauty and tell you all the things you are to me. I will be here. I will be true to the promise I have made to you and to the one who gave you to me. I will be here. As sure as seasons are made for change, our lifetimes are made for years. We'll be together. I will be here. Dear Lord, thank you for my wonderful parents who have been so faithful to one another and to you. Continue to bless their marriage as they enter and are in their golden years. I pray that their example will be perpetuated through the generations and their marriage will continue to bring glory and honor to you. All this I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. With love, your son, Kenny Hefner.